Cut this line without burning down my fucking cheek. Let's see if it works. Here we go. My temperature is 450 degrees Celsius. The camera dropping should be our first one inside that we're about to fuck this up. But I'm stupid. And begin. Take two. Ooh. The iron is fucking hot. You must be careful. Theory. Um, while the iron wasn't hot, I did a practice run on how to go down that line straight using the actual holder of the soldering iron as my uh, guide and it would ride the rail all the way down as long as it wasn't hot what I realized is that it was slightly touching the holder the iron ring pieces when um, it was turned on and plugged in at 450 degrees and um, I could only hold it by the plastic end. I couldn't hold it close by the iron spiral. Well, it was much better to um, manage. Okay. Big fail. Fail to cut and not move the fabric. Alrighty then. And if you can see, we've got residue on the iron. Let's try it just with a straight edge. Turn it off. We didn't do too good, but we didn't do too bad either. See what I'm saying? So I said, let me try it without the holder and just do it freehand. That way I can hold the um, soldering iron closer and be able to um, move it better. Here's our results with the fabric. The right idea is there. Good. Still got to perfect where the fabric is moving. This is what caused the straight line to dissipate we can't have we must have a perfect straight line or we'll get this it, sh it should be noted that I didn't have any problem cutting through the fabric in the inset it's just this particular fabric that was giving me trouble We're still striving for perfection here in D World. Hmm. We have the end result. You see where it worked perfectly here. And then it started to get funky. Right around it here. Then it missed the whole line here because the fabric move. I know how to sew it. I don't know how to get the straight lines. Still working on that part. There's my Batman cow up there. Other hats and head wraps. And a head. <laughs>